coiling guitar strings. Now, it's something I've never actually done, but it's something you sure hear a lot about, and I think this would be a great candidate for it. Now, this guitar was just given to me, and I'll, I'll explain more about what the guitar actually is and where it's going later on. It's something truly, truly special. But the strings are, um, are pretty dead. <laughs> and this guitar has a whole host of problems, and problems I see a lot, and a lot of these problems actually could be solved just by new strings. What's the big problem with dead strings? I happen to love dead strings, but I know a lot of people don't. Uh, but most of my favorite records were definitely recorded with old, <laughs> old dead strings. But the guitar does lose a lot of its resonance, its shimmeriness, overtones. Those can be lost with dead strings. Also, fret buzz and uh, intonation, these can be tracked all the way back to, to the strings you're using. The main thing for me they feel so gross. Ugh. So we're gonna try this. Now, I don't actually have a stove or a pot in my shop, but I am home alone this weekend, so I don't know. Let's take the guitar home and uh, boil, <laughs> boil some strings. <laughs> There's gotta be so many things wrong with putting a gross, dusty old guitar on your counter, but uh, you can use a crock as a, as a neck cradle. Usually, I cut these. There's a high probability that um, one of these breaks while I'm detuning it. Oh, gonna have to get something to get those out. This would be sweet if it worked. This was not planned. Oh! I don't even know what this is for. This is all of a sudden DIY guitar repair. Kitchen. DIY guitar repair in your kitchen. This could be a whole series. Oh my god. This thing's coming in handy. Wow. Okay. Those are out. I was close. I was actually worried that was gonna break. All right, the water's probably about boiling. My hands are disgusting, so let's do this. All right, they're uh, whew, they're in there. They actually do look like they're getting a little clean. So uh, I also happen to know if you're ever gonna do this, take the pot from your savers pile, so you don't have to, uh, you know, make pasta from a. You know, dirty string soup. I mean, I guess Eddie Van Halen did this. Make his strings last longer. Well, there's actually two rumors. One, he did it to new strings to kind of like break them in. And then the actual totally opposite to, to actually make his old strings sound new. So, I don't know if either are true. Um, to me, this makes more sense. Um, they do look like they are getting cleaner. So I didn't actually think I knew anybody um, who's ever done this. So I asked my Instagram, who, uh, who here has ever boiled their strings? I did get some answers. No, but have you tried boiled jeans? <laughs> Google it, bro. It's delicious. <laughs> I don't want to Google that. Yes, did it in the early 2000s. They were just a bit too expensive. Always buy new here in Latvia. Overhaul guitars. Electric bass strings. Kind of works. Just gets all the crud out between the wraps. <laughs> One of my patrons for soup? Yes, string soup. Here's a guitar builder. Yeah, I did it with flat wound strings for a resonator. Uh, the strings may have gotten a little bit worse. <laughs> great. And here's a friend of mine who, uh, of course, he's done it. Tons. Works great. So I asked him, how long should these boil for? He said, just a couple minutes. So they look a lot cleaner, honestly. These were really gross, so I'm gonna actually, uh, I'm actually just gonna let them go again for a little bit longer. So we'll let these things just go, and then um, we'll bring this guitar back to the shop. We'll string it up and play it for you there with the new strings, and we can see if we can't hear a difference. So the song you were listening to earlier was actually on these dead strings. So I happen to think it sounded pretty good. What do you think? Honestly, they still look pretty dang dirty. Okay, the trick to this is just to follow one string at a time. I'm just gonna get these tuned up here. 
That is if they actually tune up. All right, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go wash my hands and we'll see what this sounds like. I'm actually really surprised by that. Just based on everything I've heard, um, yeah, I do think it sounds a, a little better. Uh, definitely has a little more of that sparkle. But the thing I'm surprised about is you just don't hear about how gross it still feels. <laughs> Maybe this guitar is especially disgusting, but it's like trying to play through quicksand. So leaving positions, it's just stuck. Um, so yeah, they are cleaner. It does sound better, but it is not nice to play and playability i mean that to me is the most important part about playing guitar but is it worth it honestly i think if you were hard up and you couldn't afford a pack of six dollar strings i wouldn't risk taking these off and putting them back on again it's just with old strings it's so risky they just they want to break as you unwind them and wind them again um so i just wouldn't risk it i would keep your old strings on they sound good keep playing them and that should get the that should keep the crud off your strings but I will say, you know, does something like this have the potential to inspire somebody? And and that is true. And if that's true, then it's it's always a yes. So if this is something you want to do and and you feel inspired after you do it, I mean, that's that's a great thing. And so that's something that I think is valuable. And that's always the through line for me for everything. And this guitar in particular. Now, first of all, I can't believe how beautiful it is for like just a cheapy Fender. Like it's got what you would call bear claw in the top. And it actually sounds and plays pretty nice. The feature of this guitar, it's a beautiful thing. So we've actually partnered with an organization to, to get guitars in the hands of kids who haven't exactly had the easiest road in life. And that's something I'm really passionate about, you know, get, getting people access to music, people who need a runway, who need a road, who need an outlet. And, and it just feels great to get guitars in the hands to people who really need them. And that's something that music just does really well, doesn't it? You know, it just connects people, you know, th through the internet, but also, you know, in person and in your communities. It's, it's just very important. All right, well, I'm definitely not gonna send this thing off with these disgusting strings, so I'm gonna do something I've been waiting to do the whole time. <laughs> it's the best part of the whole deal. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna clean this thing up for real, string it up with some nice Johnny P's, and, uh, Give a listen on your way out. Let me know your favorite version below and what you think of this whole project. And um, we'll, we'll see you at the next one.